My name is Taryn Quinteri. I live in Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm the owner of Cosmetic Aesthetics. I've been working in cosmetic tattooing for eight and a half years now. I hosted the first ever SMP class back in 2014. So I just got my hands on the Flex S about a month ago. Obviously, the best thing about it is that it's wireless, so I can move all around without having to get my cord stuck under my chair and all that. And to have the cord accidentally touch something, I don't have to wrap a cord, I just have to wrap the machine. So what I'm especially known for in the industry is scalp color theory. For the longest time, people were just using carbon black, and after so many years seeing their heads coming back with bluish and gray hues like we all know carbon black does over time, finally people are starting to realize that we need to modify our pigments. What I love about the Flex S when doing scalps is that you can move all around the head super easily without a cord. I think when you're doing scalps, you need the most movement, more than any other procedure, in my opinion. So what I chose to use for him today, I used one drop of carbon black. I used 17 drops of dilution, and then I used three drops of the Even Flow Neutralizer, which is the orange color. So, you know, taking it back to art class, if you mix black paint with orange paint, it creates brown. What we need to know is that all scalps are cool. They're all gonna heal cool. So when you're working on a blonde or a redhead or a light brunette, you need to warm up your pigment like crazy because we want almost a warm result. You know, we don't want to have those grayish blues which are gonna show a lot more on blondes and redheads because of their skin tone. You know, he, he's got a nice tan going on, he's a Floridian, but nonetheless, especially when the sun is affecting that pigment, it's gonna cool it out. So we really, really, really wanna warm it up in this case. There's sort of two styles of scalp micropigmentation out there. There are the style of having your head tattooed, and then there's the style where the people don't wanna show anyone. They don't want anybody to know that they had it done. Even hiding it from their family members sometimes. So that's more of the work that I do, is the more natural looking work. And one of the ways that I do that is when I'm working, it's kind of a unique, different tip, every single part of the scalp is different than the last. This part is different than this part. This part is different than this part. So I'm constantly working in small amounts, I'm wiping a lot, and I'm checking to make sure that my work is consistent. Other artists might you know, go throughout the whole head and maybe some dots heal darker than others, and then in the second session, they're kind of just blending that. Oh, there's some big dots here. Let me put some more big dots around it. So for those of you who are just getting into the SMP industry, I feel that it is extremely important to learn from more than one trainer. I know that sometimes cost is an issue, but there's tons of Facebook groups available for support. So you can start there, take your fundamental training, which must be hands-on, by the way, and then join the Facebook groups, research, study, and when you can, take another class. All I have to say for all you newbies is don't lose hope, don't lose faith, and never give up. You will get through it if you just keep trying. So my favorite part about the Flux S, it is my new favorite machine, is because it's wireless, I can hop all over super easily without any cords getting in my way. So it is amazing. I still love all my other machines, but this is definitely my new fave.